leave for Florida so soon. I feel like a brand new girl. I like. Summer bodies, huh? Oh my god, my <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. My name is Annika and welcome. This vlog is going to be another Days Off Diaries. I just posted my first one yesterday and you guys are loving it. So, I thought I'd do it again. I had a bit of a late start to my day because I've been having such bad nightmares lately. I don't know what it is, but when I wake up, I'm like fully sweating and I have so much anxiety that I can't like do my normal routine. So, the day started off very slow and I embraced it because it was a day off. But now I need to actually get some things done. I cleaned a little bit and now I need to run some errands. I need to go to Target to get a water pick. I need to get some self tan and I need to get fingernail polish. I don't know how all those things are on the list together, but they are. Me and mom decided early this morning it was gonna be a Harry Potter night. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's get this vlog started. Olive in June is my go-to for press-ons and regular and different kind of like care for your nails. They have literally everything. So I think I'm gonna go with this color. I really like it. And I think I'm gonna do it on my nails too. Mom really likes doing her nails at home, so she's invested a lot in our little kit. So we have like at-home chrome, stuff to do chrome on your nails. I feel like this would be really cute for that. So I'm gonna get. Well, Target was kind of a fail. I walked out with only Sour Patch Kid um, watermelon and the nail polish. Successful, but unsuccessful at the same time. I'm gonna go with more unsuccessful because I just felt the entire bottom, like sour, weird feeling stuff onto my seat in my phone. So that's wonderful. But I did a hop and a skip over to Ulta for myself too. And I love the Saint Tropez watermelon self tan it is my all-time favorite and last time i was traveling with it i usually put like the bottle inside a mint and like wrap it that did not prevent it from exploding last time so now i have no more of that self tan and the mint is ruined so i got this little mini kit figured it'd be perfect it is what it is i called mom to see what was for dinner and she asked me to actually pick something up and we decided on tzatziki's i wanted something like not too heavy and kind of on the healthier side because i leave for florida so soon not the next vlog you see because the next vlog will be me packing but then the next vlog after that i'll be in florida with samantha joe how fun is that and i think i'm gonna do something crazy i think i'm gonna film every day I'm there. I'm there for I think four days total. So from the day I fly there to the day I fly back, it's five days. So I think I'm gonna do a vlog every single day. How fun will that be? Anyway, um, we decided on tzatziki's. I just need to ask mom what she wants and I'm gonna pick it up and then we're gonna have our Harry Potter night. Y'all. The sky is like stunning right now. It's a good sunset. Hello everyone, I'm popping in because I have a super cute white fox haul to give you guys. I have so many good summer pics in here, so I'm so excited to show you guys. And I wanna say thank you so much to White Fox for sponsoring this video. This set is not a part of this haul, but it was one of my first White Fox hauls ever. And it is my go-to summer sweatshirt set. It's perfectly light. It's not like fleece on the inside. It's like a good summer sweatshirt. And I love that it's shorts with it. Like, how cute. And then the gray and blue is just like perfect together. Anyway, onto this haul. 
I feel like White Fox really is like so known for their sweat sets. So many of the girls that come into my work are wearing White Fox sweatshirts. So I knew I had to get a set and I've been loving purple lately. I got this purple one and I don't have any of the leisure. So I thought that this would be super cute. And I did go with the shorts instead of the sweatpants just because it is now summer. How cute! And they have pockets. It's so hard to find sweatshorts that have pockets. So this is definitely going to be a good summer outfit for me. I'm going to show you guys everything and then I'm going to try it on to tell you like how it fits and everything. So now we're moving on to the box. First up, we have a pair of sweatpants. Since my change of hair color, colors have looked different on me. And I've realized that this kind of like sage green and gray look really good. And these look like they're going to be a good length too. I hate when sweatpants are too short, but I think that these are going to be perfect. This skirt, I'm so excited about this skirt. I thought it would be so cute at Glamour during the summer. Oh, I love this. So it looks like a skirt on the front, right? No, it's shorts. And this piece right here is just like covering the front of the shorts. Oh, this is going to look so cute. I can already tell. Wow, I love that. You can never have enough just mi black mini skirts. You really can't. This one's a little bit of a nicer material, so this is definitely like a dinner skirt rather than a daytime, but this is super cute. During summer, it's so important to have a good pair of linen pants. I got a really baggy, loose pair that would be perfect for the beach. And White Fox also does have White Fox Swim. So I feel like this would be perfect with like a little bikini top on the beach because they're so flowy. I love these. These are the, like literally the perfect linen pants. This dress. I have something coming up in a couple months that I saw this and I was like, I have to have this. It's so Nashville. It's so me. Like it is perfect. Okay, it's a mini dress, but we all know I have a bigger chest, so it's hard to find dresses that like focus point doesn't go there. It's like a high neck, but look at the rhinestones. And it goes all the way down. And it's like a compression material. So it's going to really squeeze me in. <gasps> it's perfect. And then once I saw that dress, I saw this one as well that has the same neckline. And I just thought it would be super cute popping around New York, the beach, anywhere really. And like I said, this is one of the colors I think looks good on me since my hair change. The neckline is really what sold me though. Cute. We all know... I'm a one shoulder gal. Oh, this material is so cooling. Oh, I'm a one shoulder gal through and through. How gorgeous is this gonna be? With the ruching on the side, this is gonna be so cute for summer. And I don't know what the material is, but it's very like compression again. It's almost like cooling, if that makes sense. I'm excited to try this one on. How cute is this? Okay, it's not the same top as the other dresses. I guess I'm going to be a dress girl this summer. I think that's what this haul is telling me. So this one goes around the neck and then it has kind of like a lower back. But I can so see myself wearing this in Cabo for my birthday. Or in even Florida. Oh, this is going to be so cute. I love dresses that can still have a very flattering and fun shape but aren't in the front, you know? It's nice when it's something in the back that's cute. That makes it a really unique dress. So I love the color on this one too. Love. When I saw this shirt, I was like, this is the perfect shirt for girls with bigger chest because it's a full like baby tee. So the fit is normal. It's not strapless or anything, but it has this little part that goes over your chest to make it something fun. This is what I'm saying when I want normal shirts for girls with a bigger chest, but still something fun that doesn't make our chest come out. This is exactly what I'm talking about. And it's so lightweight, but it's not see-through. Even without this part, if you were to like push it down, this would be a perfect baby tee. I love that. That's going to be a summer staple for sure. Okay, this top I got because it's super trendy right now. And I don't have one with like the ruffles yet. And so I thought that this could maybe do some good coverage. But also be a little something fun. I'm excited to try this one on because I don't have anything like this in my closet. So I'm kind of nervous. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have tried this top on already because I was so excited. Square neck is my favorite. It probably goes square neck and then the neckline of the rhinestone dress. This one. But square neck just oh with a nice necklace i was so excited for this one it's 
super compression tight. It keeps everything secure and the straps are perfect, the square neck, and I thought it was going to be a lot more cropped than it is, but it's definitely appropriate for work. So that's going to be super nice during the summer. And like I said, you can never have too many black mini skirts. So I got a daytime one. Before I show you this black skirt, I just need y'all to remember how much my cat loves boxes. And I left the box open and he got on the black skirt. So there's Weasley hair all over this black skirt. This one is definitely more of a daytime skirt. I don't know what it is about the material of the different ones, but this one just feels so much more daytime. And this one feels so much more nighttime. I don't know what, it might just be a me thing, but I needed a nighttime and a daytime mini black skirt. I also love that they have White Fox Swim and White Fox Active. You can get swimsuits and cover-ups, you can get workout clothes, and you can get cute outfits all in the same place. White Fox also does offer afterpay for all US, Australian, and New Zealand customers. And they have express worldwide shipping. You can use my code at whitefoxboutique.com. They have so many different things. And if you're feeling inspired to get any of the outfits that I got, I would love to see you guys in them. Tag me if you get anything. Okay, first up, I paired the one shoulder pink with the nighttime black mini skirt. I think that the short skirt is gonna be my new obsession. This looks so flattering on, but it's the comfortability of shorts. The top is really a perfect length to wear with something kind of lower rise. I've been into like, not high waisted, kind of like mid to low rise lately. This skirt sits really nicely on my hips and the top matches it really well. This is super cute. I have to keep all these in mind when I'm packing for Florida. I wanna take them all. And this is the first outfit. Super cute. I had to find out if this shirt comes in any other colors because I need it in my closet. It's perfect. Perfect. This is the daytime black mini skirt. There's two layers to it. So the first layer is a little bit shorter, so it creates a really good like long leg illusion. I feel like it's a very appropriate length that goes past my fingertips. Super cute. Just a good basic black and white outfit with a little bit of fun to it. I threw this on together thinking it wasn't gonna be like perfect together, but it would go good enough to show you both pieces separate. It's so cute together. Once again, this is my new hyper fixation. Shorts, skirt, diagonal, flattering. Love everything about this. And the back looks super cute too. The shirt. I pulled the straps up a little bit to fit kind of like the same as my bra does. And I really like the way this fits. And it's so trendy and cute. Why am I obsessed with this? It's perfect. Everything about it. I have absolutely no notes. No notes in the slightest. The material, perfection. The fit, Perfection. The details, perfection. I will be wearing this to so many things. Prepare to be sick of me. Okay, I'm gonna set the scene. I have a tote, I have some sunnies on, and I'm walking in Central Park. Like, it's perfect summertime, cute but casual dress. If you live in New York City, you need this. Despite living in New York City, you also need this. I need that vision to happen. It's perfectly flowy, it's not too tight. And again, the cut is just perfection. Well, that was my haul. We're ending comfy in sweats. And I was right, they're the perfect length. They gather a little bit. And they're very loose. They're perfect, so I packed these. I feel so snatched and just secure in this top. And the cut, I just, I love it. Thank you so much to White Fox for sponsoring this video and so many outfits coming up. You can use my code for 15% off at whitefoxboutique.com. Thank you so much. Okay, back to the lawn. We have a little bit of a tzatziki charcuterie board, some might say. So I got the Greek salad with the fish, obviously, as my main. Then we usually split some chicken roll-ups, so that's what that is. And then I got some little crispy pita on the side. How yummy. And give her a little taste. This is just perfect. So, um, Mama, you coming or what? Mom. Good morning, everyone. Let's get ready for the show. I have a new favorite Lani flavor. Orange Kiss, it's superior, it's superior. All right, let's get this workout started. There's a few new movements 
that I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do correctly. honestly my favorite part of my day every single day so on a hack if you have a kindle they usually don't overheat so i always bring my kindle in here i'm currently reading glossy about like the glove making of glossier but i feel like i need a new book especially for all the trips i'm about to go on so if you have any good suggestions please 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 let me know i really like either memoirs or about true stories so yeah if you have any suggestions let me know brand new girl I feel like a brand new girl I took an everything shower did a little bit of self tan I'm gonna give myself a blowout I guess I'm pampering myself we do have to do it somewhat swiftly though because this was gonna be my like content day but my boss texted me and was like hey can I switch your day off from today to Sunday and I was like if I can come in a little bit late so I can finish what I was doing yes so now I work today but that's okay because I'm off on Sunday so we'll have content and Sunday reset so to be perfect, I'm going to bring you guys along all weekend. It's going to be such a fun little vlog. But I'm going to go make myself a protein shake and blow up my hair. There's nothing better than the feeling of everything shaved and having self-tan on. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I haven't self-tanned in probably like a year. That's crazy. blowout is the wow spray to make it not frizzy getting yeah somebody definitely tagged there's no way they're, they're gorgeous and they've been hidden under and up. I'm not worn them in over a year I, I promise it wasn't planned as soon as I started filming she walked in I, I, I can't see really much because the shape <laughs> but like <laughs> what have I been doing so, like I literally think of all the times I could have been wearing these I'm just gonna pretend like I got a brand new pair yeah you should have today well, well how'd you did you have one on your shopping spree these are crazy. These look good, don't they? They fit my face well. Hello? I'm just, the contrast with the eye patches, I can't really tell. You can tell enough that they look good. The FFR. I wouldn't wear them, per se. Okay. You know what? That's not how you give a compliment. I love them on you. I love them on you. Okay, I have to turn the light off so that you can see and it doesn't do this. Okay. So, we're using the Alex R light. For my outfit for work today, let me just open this a little bit maybe. That'll give us some light. For my work outfit today, I think I'm going to do one of my cute little new white box black skirts. Because I really have to tailor my outfit towards me tanning. So, oh, I have this old white fox top that I could wear. That could be cute. But I don't want to get tan on it is the issue. I could do this one. Okay, I'm going to do that. That's funny. Okay, OOTD. I did end up going with the pink because it matches these so perfectly look how perfect so i ended up with a pink tee plus and i knew i had to do this skirt a because it's black and myself tan b it has pockets and i have to wear stuff that has pockets at work or else like i can't carry them on my phone and then ask if we can order things it's just a whole big ordeal so i have to wear stuff with pockets and this one has pockets so let's go on my little unexpected work day it's so sunny living but with the sunshine I can take it. I was debating what I wanted for lunch, but I think I'm in, I'm in like a sandwich mood, like a summer sandwich mood. So I'm gonna go to Jersey Mike's and grab a little sub before heading in.
Here's the before of the window, okay? It was supposed to our spring break vibes, the neons, but we gotta change it up. We decided to go with like a neutral white-esque theme because it's gonna look really good with the pink backdrop, I feel like. This one on the mannequin any chance I get. And they all go so well together. Yay! Oh, it looks so good. We don't quite know how to fix the O. So it's kind of just like that, but it's okay. Also, this giant planter of plants is new. It's the only one on the entire street. And it was just here. We didn't ask for it to be here. Nor did we know it was going to be here. So... Thanks, City of Franklin. It's time to go home. I've been sitting in the parking lot, FaceTiming everyone I know. Somehow I'm looking at the house. Okay. Oh, pretty. Gorgeous. With the moon. Somehow I'm walking out of the house again. Me and mom did not communicate correctly on dinner. And I'm feeling just like, I loved my salad and fish last night. So we even thought about getting tzatziki's again, but ultimately decided on going to Whole Foods and just doing like their little make whatever you want, kind of go with the flow. So we're going to Whole Foods to get dinner. I came too late. It had been emptied. Well, the salad bar and the hot bar were squeaky clean. So I made my way over to Zeke's. You know, I was passing Tzatziki's two days ago and I was like, hmm, I wonder when our summer obsession with that is gonna start. Cause it's such fresh, good food. And it started last night, it started. I really am just getting it because like the protein, the, sh the fish is so good. But I would've just gotten this from the beginning as soon as I got off work if I knew it was gonna be all this. We're having another movie night tomorrow though. And we're opening at 11 instead of 10 tomorrow. This will be the first Saturday we've opened at 11 instead of 10 in a long time and this is also our last Sunday open so bringing you guys along oh and I'm not working on Sunday nice I recently they got Nice and row, so I cut off for the no, season. No, no, we're on it. That's right, our current. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, last night I got a Greek salad with the fish. Tonight I got a Caesar salad with the fish. And I got pizza. Well, I wasn't going to tell them that, but if you go ask yourself. Well, I don't really want to tell them. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. It's just that time of month for me. So, chug my God. Mom, right across from Tzatziki's is. Little Caesars, and so she got crazy puffs and crazy bread. Okay, She's okay. a crazy gal. <laughs> you just wait for me to go through menopause, girl. Oh, yay! Thank God y'all have to come to that with me. All right. I'll vlog it all. I'm <laughs> screaming <laughs> with the ring footage. All right, let's play this trailer. Or whatever. Wait, you need to tell your people what kind of story you told over on Jay and I. They need to know, if they're gonna choose to watch you, they need to know that about you. 
Well, I guess you have to go listen to Jaden. Hannah has wasted time on a boy, you guys. Just like we all have. Literally a year and a half ago. Literally a year and a half ago. I think I've seen this film before. You saw it on film last night. Movie. Salad with fish. Update, how is it? The new little, what are they called? I haven't tried yet. Try it, do a live taste reaction. Crazy puffs. Crazy puffs. So what is it? Tell us about it. It's like a little mini pizza. So it's like, there's the dough. And then the sauce is inside it. It's like a couple layers of pepperonis and cheese. There's like herb and cheese ones, and then, but I got the pepperoni one. Mm. Mm. I don't think he'd like this. Maybe. Mm. Good? Yeah, that's really good. Alright, now tell what we're watching. Leave the world behind. One of the only things I care about in this world besides Annika and Myrtle and Luna, Wakely, in this house, and myself. What did she. He said, and Weasley? I don't, yeah, he's obviously. Obviously, he's included. It's Julia Roberts. I love her. And this movie came out kind of like. I think it came out during Vlogmas or something. Like, we just like. Could. We've been wanting to watch it for a, min a minute, and Annika never wants to watch intense stuff. I get really bad nightmares. Like, really, I wake up fully sweating, like, can't think straight. So, that's my reasoning, but we're doing it. This is how I'm watching the movie all night. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. But it's such a good plot that you should make it less scary. Something Jory's about to be here. I think the plane crashed this year, so I think you might not. How did we get to a plane crash? Did I miss that much? I told you. It's, it's gonna be a hand. It's gonna be. It's literally a hand. That's crazy. Are, are they? What's the <gasps> Told you it was be a plane crash. Nightmares. Good morning, everyone. I just got ready for work, did a little makeup, and asked mom to make me some breakfast. So we're gonna go check on that. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we're gonna go eat in my room. Look at how yummy this looks. I always tend to treat myself a little bit more for breakfast on Saturdays because I got a long day ahead of me. So. I asked for eggs and a waffle. So this skirt is one of the skirts I was most excited for in my White Fox haul. And I've tried to style it so many different ways. But this is so cute. Like the little black stitching with the black glamour formals. I'm obsessed with this. I'm going to have to get like a cute little picture either inside or outside glamour. Even if it's just for the thumbnail because I feel so cute. I do like to get there a little bit early just to get everything perfect. So... We're heading off to work. It looks so good. So proud of us for doing that. All right, got a clock in, in 24. It's crazy, usually we're already open for 24 minutes at this point. Not gonna complain though. GoPro tried off. Now I have it. Love ya. Now I have the GoPro for the scenes today. I just saw my first dress of the day. It was gorgeous. And now I just need to write down all the details and put it in my notes of my tips because I like to keep track of my tips. And we are super slow today. Closing time almost, but we're just going to quit them. <laughs> That's me. This is our back area. During like prime prom season, we'll put the dresses from people trying on to right here and then runners will take them from here, zip them up and everything and put them back on the floor. But I just need to clean up from lunch today. These are all of our layaway. Shoes are down there, ready to wear back stock. It's pretty huge back here. I just touched the liquid that I don't know what it was. So gross. We can only hope. 
Honestly, I don't even hope it was that. I hope it was water. There's french fries at the bottom. There are french fries at the bottom. Okay, we have to have a <gasps> This is not good. Hello, you guys. Long time no see. Not really. But we had someone walk in and ride at 6 o'clock when we close and just try on a couple of things. So, we're, it's now 6.37 then. We are out of Glamour. And I was going to work out, but I'm not going to lie to you. I have not been on my workout game. I don't know what it is, which I really should be because I go to the beach next week. But at the end of the day, who cares? I, I'm in that mindset right now. Like, I'm still choosing healthy choices for myself. Just working out has not been in the program lately. Anyway. We have water fountains at Glamour, but the water kind of tastes weird, so unless I have electrolytes to put in the water, I can't drink it. So, I stopped at the gas station to grab a water to fill up, and I'm going to try this Body Armor Fruit Punch. I love a fruit punch flavor. I think it all started from Hawaiian Punch. Anyway, this is what I love about YouTube, is I can go on such random rants, and people aren't going to just scroll. Hopefully. Anyway. I was going to work out, but then I decided, this is going to make sense when I say it, I got a membership to a car wash place, which theoretically is going to save me money during the summer. Like, during the summer, I go once a week. It's my therapy. So, I got a car wash membership, and it's at a new one. I never felt compelled to do it at my old one because there wasn't anything, like, super great about it. But this one, this has a bunch of super great things about it. It has little, like clipboards on poles to put your mats on to vacuum and it has one of those like air pressure things to get crevices it's amazing i definitely think it's going to be worth it but i have not had time to go a ton this month so i thought i might as well they close at eight it's gonna be like seven once i get there i should have plenty of time so let's go let's go a little do a little car wash therapy it feels good outside like is 80 i think it's been the first time it's hit 80 in a minute I actually haven't used the VIP yet, so I don't know how it's gonna work. All right, this one, it just went up for her. So let's see if it goes up for me. Yay! So cool. The car in front of me fully missed the track the first time, and now they just had to stop the whole thing, and now she's reversing. That is my biggest nightmare. Oh, if something happened to this car, I would never be okay, ever. She fully was like, there's soap on her car. And she reversed halfway through the thing. And here it is, starting up again. Wow. Look how cool it is. Now do you see why I went with this one? I like this one. 10 out of 10 car wash for me personally. 10 out of 10. Quick little ASMR style. Okay, the car looks and smells so good. I really should have done it before and after because I hadn't let it get this bad in a long time. I mean, there was like sour dust from those sour watermelons. There was just stuff 
everywhere. There was pretzels on the floor for my sisters playing in my car and eating snacks. Like there was just random stuff. It needed to be cleaned. So it smells and it feels so nice. I really wish I would have done it before and after, but it looks so good. I was saying bye to one of my coworkers and I was like, see ya Sunday. Mm, I won't be here tomorrow. Never mind. See you Monday. And she's like, oh, I won't be here Monday. I was like, okay, see you Tuesday. She won't be there Tuesday. See you Wednesday. I'll be gone Wednesday. When I leave on Tuesday, I won't work again until the month of May. That's crazy to think about. And then when I go to work again, I'll be able to say next month I turn 18. This is all sinking in too much at the same time. I gotta go. Okay, I think as far as the rest of the night goes, I'm just going to take a shower because I haven't showered since I self-tanned. But it marinated just the perfect amount of time. And maybe do like a face mask and just have a very chill night. That's what I'm feeling. The night's pulling me towards. I cannot recommend this body gel enough. It smells so good. Exactly what I want before I cozy up in bed. Sorry, I'm shaking. I'm so cold. Happy Sunday! I made myself a little protein shake for breakfast. I put a whole bunch of cold brew in it today. And me and mom are having a little outing day. I love when we just like have our little days in Nashville like spontaneously. And last vlog we had one and this vlog we're gonna have one too. I have a TikTok that I need to make for White Fox. I had a cute idea, so we're gonna execute the idea, and I don't know what else. I just know it's gonna be a fun time. I told her to pick out a few places that she wanted to go, so I need to pack all the outfits that I'm gonna wear. You guys have already seen all of my gorgeous white box outfits. I think I'm gonna do this dress. I'll show you again. This one is probably my favorite from the haul. This dress on Broadway, how gorgeous would that be? With like cowboy boots. With these, like stop it right now. Okay, then I'm gonna wear this in the purple lounge set for like an airport outfit. It's gonna be like what I would wear on a Nashville trip, but I live here. So, like we're, this is gonna be a vision, okay? This dress is coming to the beach with me though and I can't wait to wear it for like sunset pics. Stunning, okay. You guys have already seen all this though. Okay, we have outfit number one on. Purple is becoming one, of, purple and like sage are becoming some of my favorite colors. And then underneath I have on this tank top. I haven't worn it yet because I thought it was gonna be more cropped, but it's definitely work appropriate. So this is look number one. I'm gonna be having like a little suitcase and like on the phone as if I'm ordering an Uber. I love just doing little extra things like this. It's so fun to me. So, we did decide to have a whole Nashville day. We're gonna go try out a new restaurant that neither one of us have ever tried. So it should be super fun. Let's hit the road. The way I'm gonna be doing this for real, like packing up and going to the airport in four days, is so funny to me. I'm telling you guys, I have a specific vision for this and there's like a skywalk where I love to take like airport pictures. I feel like it'd be cute to go on the skywalk. Oh, we're on the complete other side of it. Pretty good job though, That's because a prime, that is. Right That's where we're going. Where should I say I'm going if anyone asks me? New York, mm -hmm. obviously. Okay, so this is why we wanted to park up here. Look at this whole garden area. And then we walk over to the skywalk and it has completely like you can see the planes taking off and everything. It's so cute. So that, that's like arrivals departures. And this is the skywalk. It's gorgeous. Woo! We're 
we're just being the most extra right now. <laughs> She's deciding if she needs to be at the top or the bottom of the excavator for the shot. Okay, for the shot, she's gonna go down, and then I'm gonna go down, and she's gonna film me coming down, and I'm gonna like hop on and look around and then vlog a second, so you guys will actually see like the footage I'm gonna take. I'm gonna actually record. I need to wait till she's fully down, though. Here she goes. All right, here I go. Here I go. Hope the shot's good. feels so weird it really feels so weird because there's not another person on the escalator that was the longest escalator ride of my entire existence it wasn't even cute or was that just <laughs> there was a couple times i was like oh she needs to quit smoking her gum or oh she needs to <laughs> that was i could never act like that was horrifying oh see i would uh, that's i would crush that okay wait was it even cute that's, i'm trying to get back to, to see how long it even was because i don't think it was, it was 37 seconds <laughs> Coming down the escalator. I think that you would have guessed two and a half minutes. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. You gonna try it again? No, that's cute. Okay. Okay, I think I should go up and then I get some coming up too. Embarrassing for what? I don't think it's embarrassing at all. I love it. We're in outfit number two and we made it fully to Broadway. I don't know what parking garage we're in because look how pretty. Oh. The way we got here, we were like micromanaged by these. It was, I mean, they had I have no idea. Every single it was crazy. what we, it took us 15 people to get into the spot. So, okay, I have pink. I have pink. <laughs> That's I have a pink shirt on and white like, linen pants. I'm thinking a strawberry matcha would be cute with this. So here's usually get the just strawberry latte here. Have we gotten the strawberry matcha? I don't think so. I don't either. I'm excited. So I'm thinking. You'll film like Fizz and Broad and then film me opening it and walking in. So it's action like a Sims Creed. Yeah. Okay. Here. I mean, we can take a second to ourselves. See if we can start the camera, whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, are you ready? I'm just wanting to get outside immediately. So yeah. See, like, we can, we can walk yeah. around the block. go to be an a or any airport for that matter now we're on broadway and then we're going to another like main spot 12 south it's just a busy day quick change is done it's so That's 
that's about it. I think I'm getting to my tipping point. Oh, this is the last place it is. No, no. We just need food. Let's go. It's food time. It's food time. Food time. Great. They look fantastic. Perfect. Wow. Okay, salad chest with the green dressing that I thought was avocado, so I walked all the way back to exchange it. Nice. Very nice. Meanwhile, I got a wonderful hoagie bowl. It's so good. Cheers. I wish I could have dairy just for this place. We decided against 12 South for the last location. And since I had a black and white outfit, I'm gonna do the wings over there. That's so Nashville. There's no line either. There's no line. We're going to work out. I know, I had some extra energy from today. She did, she was it's hopping and skipping in the hallways. Yeah, I just need to, I need to get some energy out. And I need a motivator, so she's gonna do my workout with me. Mm. She's acting crazy. She needs to get this energy out. Hey, come here. You don't have to have one off. You don't have to have one off. You don't have to have one off. All right, you ready? To, you ready to know what we're doing? Yeah, I think I need to pause it. That would make okay. sense. The first one is going to be eight bitch press and twelve bitch <laughs> and twelve leg extensions. Okay. We should have had legs. The jump rope's higher than we are. <laughs> we got it. We're going to the next one. This is a family channel. We walk a S H A S H A T. You guys, I'm sitting here filming literally the next vlog of me packing. Here's a little sneak peek of everything, and realized I fully didn't do an outro. So here's my outro. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. And we're packing, and it's going uh, so far. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.